Hello everyone. Welcome back to business analytics using Excel fundamentals. This is part two of module one. And before we move ahead, please like and subscribe this channel. Do share with your friends who are interested in learning business analytics using Excel. We'll be covering the basics in the module one and advanced section in module two. If you have any doubts, please write in the comment section. And if you want to download this sheet on which I'm trying to teach you or any other sheet that I'll be using during this course, you can download it on the app InnoMind. You can download the app from Play Store. Here is the QR code. You can scan this or you can directly search InnoMind on your Google Play Store. So we have already covered add, fill and split. And today we'll be going to cover transpose. So transpose basically means to change the orientation suppose I have written one two and three so you see it's mentioned in one complete row but if I want to transpose our value will change the orientation that is now it will be in column one two and three this is transposing a row into column similarly we can do transpose a column into a row section now here is a table with green items uh, green color you can see the name of the uh, column which these things represent the item has five values bread donuts cookies cakes and pies similarly amount has the prices and this whole table this whole table is called as array array is a set of data and you can consider it as a matrix okay now to transpose this, suppose I want to transpose this, sir. just select the area in which your data is, control C, that is for copying or you can do otherwise, you click here, right click and you can click on copy, okay. wherever you want to paste, there are different options, you click that cell where you want to transpose it, then you can go to paste, <coughs> then here you see uh, it's transpose this arrow okay means turning the arrow symbol means that you are transposing or converting rows to column you click this and your value will be transposed other way is to do is select the cell where you want to transpose then right click and here you have the paste option again I can do that the third option is click on the cell where you want to transpose and then you have to press Control alt v and then you can see this special pop-up box in that paste special is written this is a space special pop-up and from this I'm going to select transpose option and as soon as I select that our the array gets transposed so we'll just have one single table right now there are different ways to uh, paste there are many paste options I'll show you once again so here if you have some formula inbuilt into that uh, cell but if you want to transpose it and you want just the values to be transported you can use this uh, sorry uh, if you want to just paste the values not the formulas at some other places you can use this let me show you so here I'm using this is equals to sum now suppose I'm using this 260 and here suppose this is equals to let me write one more value here 80 now this is equals to sum this whole cell so now we have these two cells now if I want to copy it I'll do copy and if I paste it here, I can just go to different options that is paste just the values. If I do that, now you see when I click here in the formula bar, I do not see any formula, just the values. But if I click here, you can see the formula is written here. So here we have just copied the values. Other option is you can copy the formula. You are not going to copy the value, but you are going to copy the formula here. Similarly transpose 
we can also paste just the formatting thing and we can also paste some link if we want so as i said in first video how to make this icon and add link is go to insert section go to illustrations go to shapes select any shape which you want drag and draw double click to edit this is a trial done now i will right click this item and i will have an option of link so from link so i'll be doing i'm i'll be doing the linking with on the same workbook then i'll click on place in this document so these are the sheet names these are the sheet name if you want to refer to some sheet you can just select that or if you want something extra you can just type the link here so what i will do is i'll select this reference and i'll click ok now it's done now as i hover over this you can see it is showing me the position of the start sheet as soon as i click here i am back on the start so let's remove this sorry you press control and then right click select it and delete it i'll delete this also so now this transpose was done using some basic formula no, sorry uh, not formula but the paste option now if you want to transport by using a formula it can be done but it's little tricky the trick here is you have to use a formula that's called as transpose suppose i want to transpose this complete matrix or this complete array this is an array so we have here five six total six columns and two rows so for doing that i will do one thing i'll select that many number of rows and columns so i have six columns and two rows then first i have to select six column and two rows and then you have to press equals to without uh, removing the selection you have to keep this box selected this box size should be same as the number of cells you want uh, you are transposing so this is equals to i'll write transpose then you see i'm getting an option to add an array so this is our array and close the bracket now i'm not going to press enter here since we have used a formula for array what we have to press is control shift enter at some places you might find this shortcut to be named as cse so i'll press control shift enter so you see the value has been posted here in a transposed form if you want to do the quick analysis that is uh, if you want to do formatting or if you want to make some graph or charts you can do from quick analysis i'll i'll not be doing that as of now now you see if you get any error here something like this value that means there is an error while copying what you can do is re repeat the same process and there are chances that you will uh, find that you might have done some stake into the formula and you can correct that way now let's understand one thing if you select any of these yellow cells okay if i select this the formula is c33h34 okay now if i select 100 you see there is no change in the formula why is it so so because this is not a normal table we are handling an array whenever there is an array the position of array is fixed so our position of array is c33 to h34 that means this array is not going to change and to make it fixed excel automatically introduces a new bracket and that is a curly bracket you can see the formula here you have a bracket at the start and at the end you cannot write it the excel introduces it uh, by itself okay one more drawback that we will face in using formula is suppose i want to change any of these values that is 50 100 40 50 or 20 or or the, from the column c or even the names of the headings we cannot do that suppose i am trying to change it to 20 and as soon as i press enter i'll get an error pop up you see you cannot change part of an array so how to change that to change that what we have to do is we have to change here the original one as soon as you change here 
you can see it's getting reflected into this. So that is the drawback in transpose formula. And I have already told you about the array, what array is basically. So this is an array that you can consider is as a normal table. Okay. And that's all for this uh, video. I would request you to please like, share and subscribe this channel and do press bell icon for new notification of new upcoming videos. Thank you. See you in next class.